Hi, everybody. This is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? It's humid. It's a little hot. That's okay. I had to wait to do this video because it's so noisy here. I think the universe is giving me a sign that I really do need to pick up my ass and get out of here. So there is six trash bags filled to the brim of garbage on the curb. More to come. Before I start, please hit that like button. It's free, it helps me. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and share if this knowledge can be reached to other people of like mind. If you have gotten anything from my work, a light bulb, an epiphany, a new book to read, a new topic to explore, please consider supporting my work. The information will be linked in the Dropbox below. I can't do this much longer unless I get some help. As much as I'm trying to clean out my house and sell things, that is going towards moving and possibly trying to keep the lights on. I don't know about the internet, and my phone bill is way due and I can't afford to pay it. So anything helps. I might be gone for a little bit. You know, I'll be back eventually. That's why I'm doing as many readings as I possibly can, but I just want to put it out there. I can't do much without the help and support of others. I don't know how much longer I could be screaming that out, but stuck being stuck in a communistic state is not fun by any stretch of the imagination so the kabbalion we're going to go over the mental universe and the divine paradox now these are very heavy heavy topics that can go on and on and on my friends like the land shop song i'm going to try to keep it as to the book and to some notes as possible again to my scholarly types to the, my geniuses to my very well read in knowing philosophy metaphysics Hermetism, theology, and all the other fun stuff that encapsulates all of it. I know that you know this stuff, but there are a lot of people, again, you have to look outside of your paradigm that do that like doesn't get it, don't, don't know. So please fill in in the comments. Don't be shy because I'm not going to go into, I'll be here for hours and then discussing other philosophers and other fun stuff. Um, so please feel free to, I can't, I had to open my door and now I got all these little natty flies in here. Um, please feel free to fill in the blanks or to express your opinion on very, very intricate topics. Um, but I'm going to keep it to the Kabbalion with a little commentary. But I think it's worth more exploration. Like, this is going to kill me here. Yeah, there we go. So the mental universe, quote, the universe is mental. Held in the mind of all, the in the in the mind of the all, the Kabbalion. 
the universe is mental held in the mind of the all. The all is spirit. So the question becomes, what is spirit? The all cannot be explained or defined. When most think of the word spirit, we think infinite living mind or real essence, which is living mind as superior to mechanical energy and matter. Spirit transcends our understanding, and we use the term merely that we may think or speak of the all. So what I find really interesting I've ta tackled similar issues on other books when we talk about the all, the spirit, the mind, mental. When I refer to spirit, I'm able to tap into another plane of existence with entities on another plane. And for all I know, I could be channeling such of the all in its totality. Many of us can. I'm not, the, I'm not special by any means of the structure of the imagination, guys. Uh, plenty of people can get into and tap into that. But yet, it's not easy to define it because it's beyond our comprehension in the third dimension. The universe also encompasses the concept of the all, though the Hermetics ponders this. If the universe exists at all or seems to exist, it must proceed in some way from the all. It must be a creation of the all. Though the age old question, how can something never come from nothing from what the all have created it? Some philosophers through the concept out the all created the universe from itself the substance of the all so for my religious people out there and there are many of you that watch think of the all as god the creator of infinite infinite intelligence infinite mind infinite all all of encompassing every single aspect of it, every single atom to the quarks to the neutrinos to the ions to the atoms to the molecules to it all it's everything everything the everything So the all created the universe from itself, the substance of the all. Now you're gonna be like, what? It gets more metaphysical than that. Though the all cannot transfer or subtract a portion of itself, it can't 
reproduce or multiply itself. Since not material outside is created, mental creation happens in itself. So you have the one mind. It has two poles. Remember, principle of polarity. Something had to happen in order for the all to encompass everything that we see in our material world. How, how what? So how does this happen? Let's read some quotes. Quote, the universe and all it contains is a mental creation of the all. Quote, the all creates in its infinite mind countless universes which exist for aeons of time and yet to the all, the creation, development, decline, and death of a million universes is as the time of the twinkling of an eye. Quote, the infinite mind of the all is the womb of the universe. You are dwelling in the infinite mind of the all with infinite possibilities. How so? Quote, within the father, mother mind, mortal children are at home. Quote, there is not one who is fatherless nor motherless in the universe, end quote. The Kabbalion. So a lot of people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if you go to the keys of the universe, it describes the circle and the dot. I suggest you go and find those videos that I've done. And just if you're not interested in the book, but you will be, it's very, very awesome. It explains a bit about the concept that is being explained. It ne doesn't necessarily isn't hermetic, but a lot of the work is off of that train of thought. I'm going to read off of the hermetic.com and a lot of the humor, the hermetic.com. I actually see sometimes they implant their own thoughts and theories and ideas. And sometimes they just take exactly what the book was put down. So just keep that in mind for those of you who do look at other websites. Following the principle of correspondence, we are justified in considering that the all creates the universe mentally in a manner akin to the process whereby man creates mental images. Ta-da! And here is where the report of reason tallies precisely with the report of the illumined. As shown by their teachings and writings, such are the teachings of the wise men. So if the all cannot subtract, multiply, and do, then how the hell are we here? What goes on? 
Well, if you can't create anything outside of itself, it has to create something inside of itself. And what is that inside of themselves? Their mental processing, their thoughts, because you manifest what you think. Although I'm still trying to figure that one out because let's just face it. I sit here with the best intentions for the planet. I sit here and I'm like, I just want to be comfortable. I just need some help getting my bills paid. I know I am trying to manifest a, a, a job that I will like do for the rest of my life and enjoy and love and help others. But that has not come to fruition or a manifestation yet. So I'm still trying to work that, that concept out. But it happens in the mind. The all is the mind. And it projected in itself the universe. So the thought that you had in your mind about the totality of the universe, all encompassing every plane of existence, every bitty itty down to the neutron. And I know that's not even that small. Um, down to the nitty gritty of, of sand. You thought it, the all thought it. It thought of you, it thought of me. He thought of third dimension. So it's a it's a very massive topic to talk about it. Um, I dealt with this in metaphysics in class 17 years ago, more than that now. 19 years ago because it's all based on perception metaphysics is really perception it's down to the nitty-gritty of it and we had an argument about this It wraps, the concepts are e a little easier laid out in Hermeticism, but people like complicate it a lot. So the all within itself had thoughts and it manifested. Voila! The all can create in no other way except mentally without either using material and there is none to use or else reproducing itself, which is also impossible. There is no escape from this conclusion of the reason, which as we have said, agrees with the highest teachings of the illumined, just as you, student may create a universe of your own in your mentality so does the all create universes in its own mentality so you can think about the nice rich mansion you want to live in and all the materialistic things but it goes way beyond the materialistic realm because there is way too many realms in and out and in between everything that we experience here in the third dimension. Sorry to, to break that down to you, but we're on a low totem pole here. Some of us are already vibrating on four. Yes, I got it. Sorry, guys. I don't like killing things. I, I, I invited the spider spirits. I'm like, hi, spiders, you can come in. Just don't bite me or my kitties and you'll, you're more than happy to eat all the buggies that keep coming in when my door opens. 
<sighs> so, but your universe is the mental creation of a finite mind. Whereas the that of the all is the creation of an infinite, similar but degrees of difference. Do not make the mistake of supposing that the little world you see around you, the earth, which is a mere grain of dust in the universe, is the universe itself. There are millions upon millions of such worlds and greater, all universes in existence within the infinite mind of the all. And even in our little solar system, there are regions and planes of life far higher than ours and beings compared to which we earthbound mortals are so slimy life forms that dwell on the ocean's bed when compared to man. There are beings with powers and attributes higher than man has ever dreamt of, of the gods possessing and yet these beings were once as you and still lower and you will be even as they still. In a higher in time for such is the destiny of man as reported by the alum. So the all is encompassing everything. The all encompasses every single universe, galaxy, planet, star, p neutrons, us, the millions of different species, to the germs, to the amoebas, to it all. Like everything is everything. When it comes to us, here comes my co-host. Sorry guys, just in case she chooses to sit and lay down, which I hope she does. Um, She eats paper, I swear. We got to look at it at the fact that they're talking about the assumption. They're just not telling you like the winds, right? But we have beings who were third density that moved up and graduated into the fourth density and fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth and ninth and until whatever. Right, we don't even know until that happens what actually goes on because right now it's like all hearsay. There's physics to it, a lot of, there's a lot of physics. There's a lot of claims. There's a lot of theories. People are trying to prove a lot right now. Okay, she plopped down. So we have to realize that what I talk about the ascension, it shows up in a lot of different ways, but in different forms, but all kind of encompassing a very similar thing. The notion that we are a small little speck of nothing in the greater scheme of things, but we still encompass everything that we need to succeed. that we're going to move up into planes. We're going to be able to traverse space time. We're gonna be able to comprehend more of these concepts because we won't have, our minds are been dumbed down and limited. And not to say that we're stupid, it's just that there's so many things that are incomprehensible to us in the state of consciousness we all dwell in now. 
no matter how high your consciousness is or how low it is, there's still a lot that we can only speculate about and give our perceptions on. But we're here, something had to create us, something had to blip, things happen, life happened. Life happened. Side note from away from this. I had a really loud truck come down the block. Decided they were going to pull up a manhole cover at like 10.22 p.m. On a Friday night. I find that freaking odd. We don't have electrical issues. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Just freaking weird and a lot of no very noisy. The divine paradox is the next section. of the Kabbalion. Quote, the half wise, recognizing the comparative unreality of the universe, imagine that they may defy its laws, such are vain and presumptuous fools. And they are broke, broken against the rocks and torn asunder by the elements by reason of their folly. The truly wise, knowing the nature of the universe, use law against laws, higher against the lower, and by the art of alchemy, transmute that which is undesirable into that which is worthy, and thus triumph. Mastery consists not in abnormal dreams, visions, and fantastic imagings, or living, but in using the higher forces against the lower, escaping the pains of the lower planes by vibrating on the higher, transmutation, not presumptuous denial, is the weapon of the master, the Kabbalion. That's very heavy. But again, this touches on the paradigm which we are thus in now. We're here. We're being controlled. We're on the lower density. We're trying to get to a higher density, one octave higher than what we are now. We need all the transmutation and alchemy one could prescribe to society to understand what is actually going on. And yet people are in denial. Or asleep. This is the paradox of the universe resulting from the principle of polarity, which manifests when the all beings to create hearken to it, for it points the difference between half wisdom and wisdom. The first thought that comes to the thinking man after he realizes the truth that the universe is a mental creation of the all is that the universe and all that it contains is a mere illusion and reality against which idea his instincts revolts. Do we need to view this from the absolute and relative perspective? And again, where do we hear about reality being an illusion? 
Ra, the law of one. It's beautiful, it ties together. The absolute perspective universe is in the nature of illusion. As Ra also states, I'm throwing myself in there. A dream, a fant, and fanta morga compared to the all in itself. Absolute truth has been defined as, quote, things as the mind of God knows them, end quote. Though relative truth is, quote, things as the highest reason a man understands them. Yes, end quote. Matter exists to the senses, but matter is composed of ions, atoms, and groupings of forces vibrating in a low, dense state. It's also about moving from plane to plane and not to dwell much on the illusion factor, acknowledging the real nature of the universe. We are all held firmly in the infinite mind of the all. So if you take the principles thus spoken earlier in the other episodes, and if you've read the Kabbalion, we then know that we have poles and that within the rhythm of the poles, everything is vibrating and everything has a frequency and everything is moving. Everything, even a solid object in some technical sense is vibrating because it's made up of molecules, atoms, henceforth, moving. You see it? It's really annoying. Hermetics.com, this goes more off the book, but again, in recognizing the absolute view, we must not make the mistake of ignoring or denying the facts and phenomena of the universe as they pre present themselves to our mortal faculties. We are not the all. Remember, it is true that the higher as we raise in the scale, the nearer, yes, the nearer to the mind of the father we reach. The more apparent becomes the illusory nature of finite things, but not until the all finally withdraws us into itself does the vision actually vanish. Matter is none the less matter to us while we dwell on the plane of matter although we know it to be merely an aggregation of electrons or particles of force vibrating rapidly and gyrating around each other in the formations of atoms and atoms in turning, vibrating and gyrating forms, molecules, which later turn from larger masses of matter. See, there's science in all of this. So everything that is compiled in our reality is molecular. The force of which electrons are but units is merely a manifestation of the mind. That's why some people have telekinesis. And they can manipulate such energy forces. So merely a manifestation of the mind of the all and like all else in the universe is purely mental in its nature. When I did the reading on Manly P. Hall in the introduction, he talked about Herbert Spencer, who's a philosopher, whose work very closely 
encompasses a lot of these ideas. One of his quotes is infinite and eternal energy from which all things proceed. So is the all just energy, which maximizes its infinity and infinitude to the mind? So mind is also energy. We're electric, we have a mind. We're all connected to the all, which is mind, which is energy. His work is very interesting. Um, I read a little bit of it in college. Again, that was like 17. Years ago, from what I correct, it left. It's very, it's not the same, but it's very similar, talks about very similar concepts. So he is somebody, if you're interested in these topics, to dig into other people who talk about it, he's a philosopher that you should look up. The universe and its laws and its phenomena, and just as real as far as man is concerned, as they would be under the hypothesis, the universe in its outer aspect is changing, ever flowing and transitory, and therefore devoid of substantial, of substantiality and reality. With our own intuitions, it teaches us that we will make no mistake in living up to the best that is in us. So far as it is possible in realizing the universal tendency in the same direction and in spite of apparent evidence to the contrary, we are all on the path and the road leads upward ever with frequent resting places. It's high metaphysics, very interesting concepts that take some time to like sit and really absorb because it's all based on perception and to really cognize the thought process in all of this does take time. So I don't wanna throw up too much on it with my thoughts in studying of metaphysics, but it, it really does beg to differ how we all really think about how the universe begun and about the creator aspect of it all and what the all encompasses. What is it that created us? And if we look down into the nitty gritty of it all and really ask what brought everything, like the Big Bang Theory, beginning of the Big Bang Theory, if you ever watch that show, it's like an explosion of all this crap, right? Really good images, by the way, if you slow it down. Okay, just an FYI, talking about spirit, off topic, maybe not, I don't know. Um, earlier, I'm sitting here, it's noisy outside, um, it's hot, just, you know, looking at different books and looking on what I want to do next. Um, I'm working on something real. I'm not going to, I'm not going to peep it, but I'm doing something off of a movie that's extraordinary. And it's, I don't know. I'm going to, I don't know. Maybe a lot of the sci-fi people might've seen this movie. 
it, I'll, the only key I will give you is it's from 1998. Good luck with that. Um, but I'm like sitting and just, you know, waiting for the noise to stop so I can do a recording. And my mother's bedroom is straight down a little tiny hallway from where I'm sitting. And I could see right into it. And a shadow being zipped, but slowly, it didn't zip fast because I see spirit and they, they do a lot of that. But this one just took its nitty gritty time and, and, and went across the doorway and it looked like a girl possibly just a bob of hair and it just floated on by. I'm like, hi, come peep around. I wanna see ya, come here, hi. She didn't want to, or he, it, whatever, the energy that encompassing that plasmic form, jotted by, don't know if it was, I don't know if it's from my portal or not, I doubt it. But I also earlier did a, a pick a card Oracle reading and I had literally sage on my windowsill and it was so windy before we had gusts like 40 mile per hour gusts. So the, the, the smoke has been blowing in my house all day, like smoke. So, I mean, my house should have been cleansed. So some of this stuff happens, like shit just falls. Morgan, she was sleeping, so nothing, no idea, just shit falls. I don't know. Manifesting? I, I really do hope, though, it, it is my um, star family coming to dematerialize my essence so that I don't need to be here anymore. Or coming and checking up on me, seeing how like I need help and they're gonna put some things in my path so I can get some help. See how that works? And I've been trying to manifest this. Like, hi, I know you're in this, I know you're in this lo local universe. I know it. Your star seed needs some damn help. Come and help me. Right. Yeah. So I'm not surprised. But again, our minds are very powerful. The problem is we've been suppressed poisoned, DNA taken down a couple of notches where our brain power and our consciousness hasn't reached the heights it should have already been reached. We should be already bending objects with our mind mentally. We should already be talking to each other telepathically. We should have already been there, but that's not the timeline that we all chose to come back in kick ass in this war. Um, so I, I, it's a hard concept to understand, but we are all mind. We all come from the all and the all, the mind, the monad, the, it gets complicated. Um, But we're limitless. We just have to find the potential that's within. And as we consciously grow our essence, our soul, our mind, and ascend and keep growing, the more that we're going to be able to like encapsulate all of these ideas that's being presented that a lot of people can't even catch on to. They're not easy concepts to think about. They're not easy at all to grasp in its totality. That's so annoying. Sorry, guys.
that's what happens when you have to go out and do work and open up your door and all this shit flies in. And then they're attracted to my lights. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep it as, it's not layman's terms at all, but trying to keep it as non-in-depth as possible so people can sort of grasp that concept, those concepts, um, but feel free to dive in into the comments if you would like, um, because it goes super in-depth. And I don't want to lose too many people or confuse anybody because um, I can do that. I've done it. And that's why a lot of people don't talk to me because when I get into in-depth conversations like this with these kind of topics, I kind of just get this invisible blank stare and they zone out. So I'm not trying to do that to everybody. Um, yeah, so I'd love to hear your ideas about the paradox, divine paradox and the mental universe. What do you think? Is that true? Is it something that crossed your mind? You have to look, if, especially if you're from a religious mindset, you have to look at the fact that science is still holding a lot of boundaries here. We are made up of energy and atoms and ions and neutrons and everything else in between. We encompass a lot of chemistry, a lot of things that break down into smaller, smaller and smaller polymers particles and molecules and we're vibrating constantly there's no stopping anything on our body it's constantly moving so when you can grasp that concept and then think about how you whatever you think is somewhat a part of your world that you brought into an existence. But the all, all encompassing everything in its mind, consciously projected and manifested everything. Like I said, it we are limited to our manifestations and not to say that we control that to an extent. I think when you speak it into an existence, it's up to time space or fate or a lot of other laws of nature and of correspondence cause and effect and all of it for it either to materialize or not, it, because here we're in a material form, we're in material density. And in the lower vibrating density, I would imagine it's harder to just manifest, you know, things. It's not to say that it's, it, you're putting the energy out there for you to receive it. But it could come in any sort of manner. It doesn't need to come like, oh, I want a Jaguar. And it pops in because I thought about it. It's going to pop in my driveway. That's not how that works. Not at all. I might, I might get a little compact car. Although I'm going to need a, a, an SUV or a truck when, after I move and my, my little car will not, it doesn't do well in the snow here. And where I'm thinking about going, no way I can drive my little tiny car. It's not that tiny, it's mid-size, but it does not do well in the snow. Slipping and sliding and, and fish tailing all over the place. 
Nope. Nope. But yeah, we can't just. I I want a I want a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and you're thinking about and you're you're obsessing over somebody, like that's free will though. That plays a part in all of this as well. It, it, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot to encompass. There's a lot of laws of other things, correspondence that plays a big part in a lot of this. And I don't want to go, again, too technical um, to not lose too many people. But I hope you enjoyed this section. Um, it's very, you know, it's, it's not short, but I, again, I don't want to overly complicate something that's already very highly complicated of concepts that, um, take time to really like absorb and to really just rationally think about and logically apply those concepts to yourself. So let those things sit in. For my, for my geniuses and very well-studied people out there, you can totally write in the comments, help others understand, I would appreciate it. Um, it takes a collective to help everybody. So, and I know a few of you are already starting to get your confident pants on and be like, all right. I'm going to comment. And again, guys, no matter what platform you're on, by the way, because I, I stream to, I, you know, po post on two different places, there are going to be people who absolutely do, don't follow and, and will rip apart everything that is written. Don't get us offended by that. Um, I try to not limit people's free speech um, unless it's really like bad. So I do want to put it out there to be respectful. Um, you don't have to agree with anything I say. And again, what I read, I take with a grain of salt because I do a lot of research. Um, there are some people that don't recognize or realize that in Everything that I do, I code a lot of what I'm saying for certain reasons. But I, 17th letter of the alphabet, I'm very well studied on. And a lot of concepts of what's really going on in the world, I'm aware of. I'm a transitioning team. I am a part of a non-boy of people from other star systems who are here incarnated in human flesh to help people open up outside of the one book paradigm. So people that are very well versed, just keep in mind that we need to be tolerant of people who are not aware of the other works. A lot of people are very well versed in philosophy, in metaphysics, in theology, in theosophy, and mythology, and all that encompasses really amazing stuff. But there are a lot of people who have not been exposed to any of this. And it's my duty to help put it in front of people and it's your free will to, sh to see it or not. And it's also an encouragement to buy the books or to look up the PDFs to read the books for yourselves. I am just a messenger. I am just this in-between being who is here trying to help awake other people out of the slumber of that one book paradigm.
once you under, especially the mental universe, once you understand that component in and of itself, a lot of stuff will then go flying out the window. And that's something a lot of people aren't ready to do just yet. So be kind. Yep, and I'm looking at some of you. Be kind. Again, I'm very well understood and, and read in on this stuff. I've been reading about metaphysics and all types of topics for more than half my life. And again, I'm not a scholar in it. I didn't go to school for it. I base my artwork off of it. And it's something, it's one of my favorite things to read. So I just want to introduce that, those topics and to share it with others in hopes that they kind of had their curiosity peaked enough to look into it further. And with that, sending each and every one of you love and light. I hope all of you have an amazing weekend. Happy Father's Day to those fathers out there who celebrate. And to my father above, you already know, happy Father's Day up there. So be safe, be seen, and keep safe out there. It's a crazy world and a crazy paradigm. And we all need to help each other to raise those frequencies and vibes so we can all jet jettison out together where we can all be around each other, like like-minded, amazing geniuses we all are, and encompass the superhero that we are, and start doing the best for humanity because we know what's best for everybody. And if not, we do a town hall and we vote. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.